they're trying a number of different things to clean up this oil. Uh, the first thing and the most immediate thing that they're trying to do is they're actually trying to close the cap that sits on top of the well right now. There's a big, giant steel, uh, it's called a uh, blowout preventer, and basically what it does is it, is it, is, is it chokes off uh, the well hole that's there right now. And this thing is supposed to be like a fail-safe, like last-ditch effort if something were to happen. Uh, this thing is supposed to act uh, to choke off the, the flow of oil. Uh, it's a giant steel thing. It's about the size of a small house. Uh, it weighs something like 450 tons. Um, and for whatever reason, this didn't work. So they've got these, the, these undersea robots down there right now, and they're trying to, to activate this blow-up preventer. If they can do that, that would be the fastest, that would be the easiest thing. That would be the quickest way to, to stem the, the flow of oil. Now, if that doesn't work, which it doesn't look like it's going to because they've been working on this for several days now, then they have a couple of other options for shutting off the flow. The first one is it's kind of like a giant inverted, inverted funnel. And what they're going to do is they're going to put this over the well hole. And what it does is it, is, is it collects the oil and it gets the oil to flow up towards the surface through a long pipe and the pipe is then connected to ships at the surface where they can sort of offload the oil. So this is a very interesting idea. It's a very novel idea. Uh, it sounds kind of crazy, but they have tried it in shallow water before, and it actually does work in shallow water. It seems to work, seems to work fairly well. They've never done it in deep water, not, not deep water as water as deep as this. Uh, keep in mind, you're going down 5,000 feet. You're into 5,000 feet of water. That's you know nearly a mile below the surface. So. It's, uh, it's a much different, much more challenging situation. Ultimately, they're going to have to drill into the well hole and fill it with a thick mud or a concrete type substance. That's really the only way to permanently stop this thing from flowing. Um, all the other fixes are, are, are kind of a temporary stopgap measure. Um, they're going to have to drill into this well uh, in order to, to, to shut it off completely. They have a drill rig on the scene right now, but obviously it takes a long time. They have to drill down through, uh, well, you know, through almost a mile of water and then uh, through uh, thousands and thousands of feet uh, below, the uh, below the ocean floor. This takes time. They've said that it could take uh, anywhere from one to three months. Uh, in order to plug up uh, the hole by, by drilling it that way. So uh, obviously no one wants to wait that long. This thing is leaking uh, at a rate of over 200,000 gallons a day. Uh, it's getting pretty bad, so they need to do something pretty quickly.